$1,999 to the Spencer Trust, making a total donation to the Spencer Trust from donor A of $55,396. We know that something like over $200,000 went through the Spencer Trust, all of it undeclared, all of it not declared under our electoral laws, also not declared in the pecuniary interests register. And I can tell the House, Madam Speaker, that the New Zealand First Party and their MPs knew nothing of the Spencer Trust except for Doug Woolerton. He, in fact, knew about the Spencer Trust. He fully knew about the Spencer Trust. And that Mr Peters would actually tell his staff, Mr Peters would be sitting in his office and tell his staff, don't worry, get Wayne Peters Point to pay order. for that. Point of order by Honourable Winston Peters. Madam Speaker, this matter was ruled out by the committee. It said so. And now uh, a report is before this House, and he seeks to relitigate material which was debunked by the committee, not accepted by the committee, and the committee said there was, the matter was settled because there was no debt. So could you bring him back to the subject matter if he can? Speaking to the point of order, Madam Speaker. Rodney Hyde. The Serious Fraud Office information is contained within the Privileges Committee's report. Surely I can be referring to that. I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Peters. Uh, on, right on, Mr. Peters. If it isn't the report, if the material is in the report, it is open for discussion. Point What's in the report is not 200,000 or anything of the sort. It was a matter of 40,000. It's in the report, and that's in the wiring diagram. Now he's introducing new material which has got nothing to do with this whatsoever. And that's my point. Look in the report. I've read it. Thank you. It doesn't refer to that matter. Thank you. Could I ask uh, Rodney Hyde to contain himself to referring to what is in the report and published before this House. Any other matters are extraneous and outside the debate. I'll certainly be talking about the process before the committee, as indeed, Madam Speaker, is my right. Madam Speaker, what would happen is that Mr Winston Peters, in his office, would instruct his staff that Wayne Peters will pay for that. And what you had is the Spencer Point of order. Trust being— Point of order, right honourable Winston Peters. There's nothing in this report that suggests that whatsoever. He's just making it up, as he always does. Now, where in the report, Mr Hyde, is that? Point thank, to it. Thank you, Mr Peters. I, any comment, Mr Hyde, or not? Because well, if you are not reporting anything that is in this report, and I haven't read it eight, right through, if you can't point to me that that discussion about Mr Wayne Peters is somewhere in this report, then it is not to be in this debate. Point of order, Madam Speaker. Mr Hyde, I in, am when you take certainly entitled to discuss the operation of the Spencer Trust. I am certainly entitled, as a member of parliament, to get up and express my dismay at the Privileges Committee not ruling on the information Thank you, from Mr. the Hyde. serious Thank you, Mr Hyde. Take a seat, office. please. There is a quite clear distinction. And I took advice before I took this chair earlier today when we met as speakers that this debate is to contained with the material that has been presented in this report to talk, and it is in speakers' rulings, about something that you think ought to have been in the report is not party or pertinent to the debate. Please contain yourself to comments of the, what is in the report. Thank, Thank you. you. Madam Speaker, I refer to page 100 of the report, and we see the wiring diagram provided by the Serious Ford Office. And what we have is the money going into the Spencer Trust and being paid across, actually, to Bob Clarkson. What is not clear from this report is who donor A is. We know that it's one person who's paid across $55,000. Order, Mr Hyde. Again, hear what I said. I said you can't presume what is not in here. It's in the report. You can only talk about what is in here. It's in the report. Excuse if me. If you haven't read it, Excuse I'm me. sorry. Excuse me. Sit down, please. If I heard you correctly then, you referred to donor A, and then you said what is not there, and you took off again. Now, I'm saying you must stick with what is here. Okay. Thank you. I, what's in the explanatory note right, is that it totals 
396. The point I was making is, all we know is that it was donor A. What we don't know is who the person is, which I think I'm allowed to stay still in this parliament. What's going to be interesting, Madam Speaker, is that the Right Honourable Winston Peters is being asked by Parliament to fill out three years of pecuniary interests register. What we know is that he will be required to detail the payments to the Spencer Trust, who provided them, who provided them, because they are a gift to the Right Honourable Winston Peters. Point of order, Right Honourable Speaker, Winston Peters. There's an old English saying that the melody of the ignorant is to be ignorant without knowing it. The law on trusts changed last year. We ought, my point is that no such disclosure is required when the law on trust didn't change until the Electoral Act 2007. Mr Peters, sorry, that is a point of debate. It is not a point of order. Thank you. Could you please continue? For the minutes. It will be required because that $40,000 is clearly a gift to him, just like the $100,000 from Owen Glenn has been ruled as a gift to him. And I say this House will be very interested, Mr Peters, to learn who donor A was and to discover the link between that money and the policies that Clark Peters government have introduced in their budget. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The